Okay. Well, yeah, I kind of liked uh, doing the uh, whole market stuff thing that I did for the day uh, type of videos. So, you know, maybe I would prefer to do that over cryptocurrency uh, type of videos. So, you know, also give me a reason to actually put a video out every, you know, business day. So Monday through Friday. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, if I see uh, there's a reasonable amount of like, you know, views or likes or whatever, you know, especially watch time, you know, then, you know, I'll, I'll keep making more of those. The only thing is, I don't really have anything new to say, but I mean, that's the, that's the point of doing those type of videos, right? You know, because you don't know what happens in the market. So, you know, we'll see. Anyway, we got two project, crypto projects to do today. And, you know, while, like I said in the last uh, video for uh, the stock market stuff and the broader market stuff, I mean, there's technically supposed to be a relief rally going on, and I'm trying, and I'm seeing that they're trying to force one to happen. Uh, it doesn't look like it's already, it doesn't look like it's doing too well. But uh, with that being said, you know, we should see a little bit of money uh, trickle back into crypto. I already know it's going to be very short lived, right? I mean, look, th th this thing is trying to go up, and it's not doing a very good job of it. So again, I still remain bearish overall, right? Uh, but with that being said, you know, Yada Crypto has quite a few uh, projects, you know, but the thing is I kind of want to stay away from NFT metaverse stuff, right? Simply because, I don't know, in a bear market, that's not going to work too well. And of course, I'm looking at the bear market crypto Twitters, and they're basically saying that they're all scams. So, you know, which is technically true because you're paying a lot of money essentially for a JPEG that you don't actually own. Uh, supposedly so it's like I don't know you all avoid those plus I'm really paranoid about you know scammers right like they they're all using the unreal engine which is free right they're coming out with all these crazy looking graphics I don't know man I don't know Kev could it could be a scam all right get all the suckers in oh this looks legit boom you know rug pull yeah. Anyway, um, this is launching in about four and a half hours. Uh, so, again, you got to maybe be a little bit careful because this could be a rug pull as usual. All right, because you just never really know. Uh, you know, now I did see this covered on Yana Crypto's YouTube. So, I'm guessing he probably did a little bit of, uh, you know, research. But again, you just, you know, always have to be careful. All right, so it was a pretty large 10% bonus. There's a withdrawal fee of 2%. I like to see a higher tax. And, of course, daily ROI is 8%. So I'm thinking this might be a crops farmer fork. Um, simply because they have a pre-approval for a certain amount of Binance dollars. And let's see, according to this, there's a max of 50. And, I mean, there's a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 100 grand. All right. I don't see anything else that would indicate this is a yield staker because usually that means there's like, you know, it lasts forever, you know, it lasts for 100 days, etc. So this does look more like a crops farmer type of fork, you know, or even possibly, uh, you know, or maybe more likely baked beans. I mean, this just kind of just looks, you know, plain. Okay, so I'm not really seeing anything different here. Okay, you have a Telegram and Twitter, no Discord, of course. You can look at their contract, but even then, like people could still projects have rug pulled despite showing the contract. So, okay, approve. There's an unstake button. So what? Okay. This is a little bit different, so let's see if their white paper has any. Oh, okay, well, there's only nine pages. Um, can we make you bigger, like a lot bigger? Okay, that might be too big. All right, this is this is fine. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry too. Uh, Dino BSD, genuine individuals, blah blah. blah. Okay. Okay. There's a lucky draw. Rack up 20 entries with a value of, which is automated, this whole lottery system, a value of $50 each. We have a fortunate, lucky winner. Racking up 10 entries with a value of 200 bucks. So already off the bat, if this is legit, I mean, I kind of like this, because you just got to encourage people to put money in. Uh, okay. 
lower investments. Yeah. Racking up six entries with a value of five hundred dollars will have a fortunate lucky winner. So obviously English is not their first language. Uh, okay. So the Dino BUSD investment model requires a mandatory rewards claim of twenty four hours, and the next ROI. Can you see this? Yeah. Next ROI cycle will be dependent of earlier reward claims. Dino BUSD encourages investors to reinvest themselves after withdrawing to a maximum ROI uh, to generate maximum ROI, thus allowing weekly re rewards withdrawal to 50%. This model will take a 2% withdrawal tax. God, I wish this English was better because I don't understand what the hell he's saying. There's a 24 hour timer, so that I get. Apparently, there seems to be a possible penalty every time you withdraw. But, I mean, I'm thinking this is going to be shared dilution. Uh, okay. Okay. Across all such projects, very few of them have offered any such high fixed rewards. That's obviously not true because everyone offers high APR. Return cycle will be based on first initial investment. Any investment in between the seven-day cycle will be considered in alignment with the first cycle, thus align withdrawals earlier than seven days for a second investment. Uh, ROI, as will be as shown, 4444. Four, four, four. Any investment made after the first investment will be considered as the first investment and claim rewards can only be withdrawn on day seven of the... <sighs> Jeez, this is... Very contradictory. Any investment made after the first investment will be considered part of the first investment cycle. I have to rewrite. I have to rewrite the sentence because the English is just so bad. And claimed reward amounts can only be withdrawn on day seven of the first investment cycle. Okay, so you have a twenty-four hour mandatory timer, but you can only withdraw once a week. It is mandatory to claim rewards through a reward claiming button every 24 hours. Once the daily rewards are claimed, the next reward cycle will begin. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. You just said, okay, I'm just going to assume you can withdraw every, once a day. I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to ignore the seven-day part. This is... Unstake option will be available to all investors for the time till they recover their investment through straight 8%. Okay, so there doesn't, this doesn't sound like there's actual dilution. This is actually fixed yield staking. Uh, okay, as soon as the print line is current, stake option will be grayed out, but investor will continue to receive their return. You will continue to claim them in 24 hours time frame. Okay, so we can ignore this weird seven day thing because it obviously doesn't make any sense. They, they keep saying you can withdraw once every 24 hours. Okay, so if I'm reading this right, you can unstake your original balance if you're paranoid about, you know, for like whatever reason. I actually, like, as nice as I like this function, this could be very unstable for the project because somebody could just put in a lot of money, get their 4% or 8% for the day, and then just pull everything out and then ride risk-free. That's going to cause severe fluctuations in the contract balance. So, uh, I don't know. If it's not a rug pull, people could force a rug pull. That's the only thing I'm a little concerned about. Uh, there's a one-time 10% uh, referral bonus, so okay, that's pretty standard. It does say that if you do get your original money back, you can no longer unstake, which I think is actually fair. So investors will be generating five times their principal value through the return cycle before it gets terminated. For example, return cycle based on $100 will end once the investors generate five hundred dollars in order to get for a return new investment is required okay so this is not talked about on the front page okay so there is an actual limit of some kind on this this doesn't just go on forever that's what i was wondering about because i was about to say this is not going to be sustainable you have to have some kind of termination or dilution or something okay so basically you can you put in a hundred bucks you'll eventually get back 500 and then that's the end of your term and then you can just take as much long you can take as long as you want to get that 5x return okay uh and of course there's always going to be a two percent withdrawal tax and um uh 
let me just read this real quick. Uh, okay, so they have to show the last winner's update. Um, yeah, we don't really need to care about the conclusions part, and then there's just some blank space here. Okay, that's good. All right, so in order to enter the lottery, you have to, I think, add, okay, so I think in order to enter any of these different tiers of lotteries, you have to put in a minimum amount of money. So if you want to get in the silver, just put in 50 bucks or more. If you put in $200 or more, you get in the gold lottery. And of course, you get diamond lottery where you can you have to put in 500 bucks. And then of course, this is your payout reward. However, 26% lottery draw value will be allocated to Dino BOSD contract. All right, so number of entries. This is 20 times 50. That's thousand dollars okay so I assume so this doesn't make sense because let's say everyone just does this 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 lottery thing right this thing equals the same amount 20 entries times 50 bucks equals a thousand dollars but this thing says okay so yeah this is what I thought it should be saying they're basically saying whatever your reward amount is they're going to take a 26% tax, which I think is more than fair. So you get so you get 74% of whatever this return amount is. So, which makes sense, right? Because obviously this project needs to stay sustainable, right? While also encouraging people to keep putting money in. So, yeah, I think a 26% tax is just fine. And technically, you are you're going to be in these lotteries anyway because you're going to be investing money in the project if you want, if you so inclined to choose. So, all right. I like it. Okay. All right. So there's no daily time limit aside from this 24-hour timer. Again, I don't know why they're mentioning this seven-day thing. Uh, this, this this is completely contradicted by the rest of this white paper. So I'm just going to personally assume you got to do something every 24 hours. You know, use it or lose it kind of thing. There's a 2% withdrawal tax on everything. And, of course, if you somehow win the lottery, you'll get, you know, 74% of whatever your invest uh, lottery reward amount's going to be. That's what I'm that's how I'm interpreting this. All right. So I'll leave a link to this page obviously. I'll leave a link to uh, the white paper. Uh, I mean, because this is not a dilution type of minor project, this is actually some kind of un uh, somewhat uniquely coded uh, whatever, so I don't even know what keywords I'm going to try. I may not even try to bother with keywords. I'll just stuff something at the end. This does look like somewhat unique code. So as long as this is not a scam project and there's no incentive to go in first, you could probably just wait it out a little bit and just see what happens. But again, this unstake feature is the only thing I would kind of want to change. I mean, I like that it's pretty good for new users, paranoid about a rug pull, but again, it could cause serious damage to the contract balance. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see how this goes. Will I personally invest in this? Right now, the answer is no, because right now, I'm just playing so defensively, I'm not investing in anything new, right? I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, I know everything's going to eventually keep going down. I just don't know when, all right? I already have June 29th, then July 13th, and, of course, the FOMC meeting. By that point, all hell should already have broken loose. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see how things play out. Actually, let me see. What's the market's doing? Yeah, they're desperate to try to pull, push things up, but it's not working. It, it's not working. But, I mean, Jerome Powell is testifying too, so. That's going to distort things. So, anyway, uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this video. I'm relying on all of you to spread the word so we can keep growing this channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, which is, I think, in a play-to-earn NFT game. Uh, but it's actually live. So, all right. I don't normally like doing those. But right now, we just need projects to just so I can talk about something. Yeah. So, anyway, check out Dino BUSD. Again, there does not seem to be an incentive to go in first. So, maybe you want to wait a little bit before, uh, you know, jumping in. Just make sure this is not a rug pull scam. Like, right now, I would be very paranoid about any new project, you know, no matter how legit it looks, simply because right now everyone's just getting killed, so everyone's just desperate for money, so, you know, and I mean, it's up to you, it's up to you, but 
Assuming this is not a scam project, I mean, this actually looks, you know, pretty decent. All right? Yeah, and I wish I had $100,000. Of course, I wouldn't chuck it all into this project. I mean, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be a bit much, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. And I do like the, uh, oh, there's a lottery page. Okay, so I have to actually, all right, I have to leave a link to the lottery page. So, your balance, uh, insta win, and then you got to approve everything, and then they have a the list of winners. Oh, I mean, I hope this is not a scam, rumpful project. I mean, it does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. So, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I'll see you next video. It'll be something about some NFT game that Yana Crypto's been playing. We'll check it out. Yeah.